All right, welcome everybody. We are going to be doing a video on Ark of Osiris for Rise of Civilizations. This is going to be a video with some tips and tricks, some best practices, uh, things to do, things not to do. It's it's a recording of the one hour long full thing, and we'll skip through some of it so I don't have to have you just watch me marching around because there is a lot of marching going on here. March speed's a huge deal. Um, but just some first impressions. Uh, this game absolutely is... <clears throat> fantastic well, this part of the game is fantastic um, really enjoyed the the actual battleground itself uh, it's so much fun it, I know it lasts an hour so it's not too bad uh, I was worried that it was going to be like a four or five hour thing like wars tend to be but no this is a one hour time frame of you just battling it out with folks in in another alliance in another kingdom uh, and and just really fun I, I had a blast doing it uh, I had to because of the time frame that this was, uh, since I'm in the U.S., uh, had to <laughs> kind of stop what I was doing and, and park uh, to participate. But um, overall, like I said, fantastic uh, experience. It was a blast to do. Really just enjoyed myself. Um, this was uh, Kingdom 16 versus an alliance in Kingdom 8. We were really tight uh, in power as far as um, the 30 that we had versus the 30 that they had uh, overall. But really enjoyed it. It was just uh, an absolutely fun time. And uh, we ended up having a few more folks on our side actually join and participate than the other side did. And you could tell by about 10, 15 minutes into it that we were the superior force when it came to research, to uh, army size, to commander levels and size, and just that in combination with the fact that I think they only ended up having like 19 players where we had 25 uh, jump in. We just ended up dominating this battleground uh, from start to finish. We captured the points quicker. We uh, were at the front of their base by about the midway mark, just sitting there waiting for them to come out. So there was just no chance by about the midway mark for them to come back uh, unless they mounted an absolutely crazy defense and started doing some, some weird maneuvers <laughs> that I've never seen. But some tips and tricks really quick as this is starting to prepare. And the first part of this video is really just maneuvering and uh, getting into position, launching your armies. Uh, some things that I should have done differently, we'll, we'll kind of go over, but some tips and tricks really quick. So first off, for teleporting. Uh, teleporting is a huge part of this battleground. If you're not teleporting, you're, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. Unfortunately, uh, being that this was the first battleground uh, released, uh, we did have the third time slot, so we did get a couple little tips and tricks, but overall we still kind of had to learn on our own. Uh, first tip, absolutely, is teleporting. You need to teleport as soon as possible, uh, especially your heavy hitters. You need to get all of their armies up to the front as soon as possible because marching time is a couple minutes between your home base and the middle of the base, or the middle of the map. So you need to be able to be quicker with the reinforcement, quicker with the armies, um, getting them up to the front and in the battle. The best way to do that, tip number one, is to send out a tier one cavalry unit with Lancelot and um, Dragon Lancer, or if you've got Chow Chow leveled up all the way with his mobility tree, you can use him. But you want to have uh, two cavalry mobility style commanders sending that uh, troop out with tier one cavalry, because tier one cavalry is the fastest troop in the game. So as long as they don't beat you to that shrine or that obelisk or whatever you're going after, and I'd recommend obelisk first, um, you're going to be able to capture it because there's no troops in any of these to start off with. The only time there's going to be troops in any of the buildings is whenever somebody else captures it or you capture it. So at the beginning, you can send one troop if you wanted to to any of these buildings and capture it. So you definitely want to add obelisk to your first priority. And if you're looking at the top right where the map's at, there's four obelisks. And it's basically north, south, east, and west. Um, that's where you want to be at the beginning because that's what's going to allow you to teleport. Um, once you get into that obelisk with your first army, you can instantly teleport because it gives you, I think, I think it's five teleports right off the bat. Now you can see on the screen here, everybody's launching all of their armies, including me. I've already done that. I've already sent out all four of my armies. Big mistake. Um, next time, going to just send one at the very beginning to get the obelisk or wait for somebody else who's faster than me to get that obelisk, and then I'm going to teleport. 
because again, I'm going to be able to bring all four of my armies to bear in the middle of the map right away instead of having to watch them march. <laughs> and you know, unless you have your infantry tree maxed out, which I, I believe I do on my uh, Richard, um, it's going to be slow going and you're going to be waiting a minute, two minutes just to get to the battle. Whereas if you wait for that one troop, really fast troop to get that obelisk, you can teleport, instantly send out all your troops, and you're fighting. So really, really good tip. That's primary number one tip that I wish I knew at the very beginning uh, that I will definitely be using going forward. Um, tip number two, to teleport. You know, I guess 1A then. Uh, to teleport, you need to be in a structure that's a shrine, an altar, or an obelisk. So if you have troops out on the map, you can go into a shrine, an obelisk, or an altar, and reinforce that and camp there and then teleport your city you can do that what you can't do is be in a uh, resource caravan or on the map battling or anything that's not inside of those structures if you're not inside the structure with them with an army out on the field you can't teleport so that's the the primary thing and that's what kept stopping me from teleporting i didn't end up teleporting the whole match but again we crushed them so bad didn't really need to um, that being said, that's that's a big thing too. Make sure you're in a, a, a shrine, an altar, or an obelisk so that you can teleport whenever you capture that obelisk. So as you can see, we've already captured both of our obelisks, both of our war camps, and there's one more war, war camp in the middle, but um, we're already starting to capture the altars and the shrines on our side as well. The other side, they've only captured two of their war camps. They haven't, um, they haven't captured anything else. So again, we're ahead of the game already. Um, we've got so many folks going out. I've already got my guys going toward the obelisk, which is already captured. And then I'm going to start sending them to the altar here in a second, uh, to capture that too. So as you can see where the Ark of Osiris is in the, the gold center, that respawns every certain amount of minutes. I think it's every 10 minutes or something like that. Um, you want to be there to capture that relic basically and bring it back to your war camp. So your outpost right there. You see where it says outpost of Seth? That's where you take your Ark of Osiris. That's where you capture it. Okay? So that was another thing. I, I, I was the first one to grab the Ark of Osiris because I knew it was important. So I had one of my, my cavalry troop over there to grab it and run with it. I grabbed it, and I'm like, oh, crap, what do I do? <laughs> uh, so I grabbed it and just started bringing it back to our side of the base because uh, I knew it was going to be somewhere towards our side. And then I found out that it was to the uh, to the war camp, so uh, or the outpost. Um, now, when you capture the Ark of Osiris, the troop speed goes way down. Like you you start crawling, and you'll see that in the video uh, when I capture it the first two times. It like whenever you grab it, your troop speed is a crawl uh, to bring it back to your your war camp. So right now, again, we're put the way that um, Ronnie had organized our. Uh, battle was that we were going to push on the left side with all of our heavy guys any anybody above 8 million and then anybody below 8 million we had pushing on the right side camping and reinforcing as needed but we didn't end up having to reinforce the right side they took care of their own just fine they were able to to really put out some serious damage and and keep all of our bases uh intact and we never lost a, a base after we captured it uh, as you can see on the bottom right side of the map, the, the main map, we've already got all of our main bases captured. They're still missing two of theirs. And in the middle, where the Ark of Osiris is, there's, there's a shrine and an altar on each side. That's basically the battle area at the beginning. Those are the ones that are kind of up for grabs. Um, so, again, we expected a massive, massive uh, push on those after they captured their own stuff. But it didn't end up coming. They, I think they sent the majority of their troops to the top, uh, to those uh, bases over there, whereas we had all of our folks spread out to the point where we could battle um, at the top and hold our own and just start capturing all the, the other stuff with our heavy hitters. So you can see my Sun Tzu troop, which is my AoE troop, and my cavalry troop led by Plagius, they're going to the other uh, desert altar there, which we already have. So I camp them there, but if you go, once I start going up, you'll start seeing some of their troops start to come into that area, and then we're going to start the real fighting. But right now it's just a, it's a land grab at the very beginning, and um, we did a really good job of capturing everything very fast, very fast. Um, with the outpost, again, you, you can get individual points uh, by, by camping there. 
I wouldn't recommend camping at the very beginning because, again, your your main purpose right now is to defeat the enemy and send them back to their base before they can teleport and um, capture everything forward. So you want to keep pushing your building captures forward. Um, tip number two is the hospital. So with the hospital, there is no resources used. Thank God. I didn't want to burn 20 million of each resource um, healing up my troops throughout the, the game. Um, luckily, it's just speed ups if you want to use those. So with that in mind, Battlegrounds is really meant for everybody, which is kind of cool. I was worried that you know it was going to have to be for the folks who could afford to put some money into the game and um, save up resources and, and things like that. But really... Um, the, the game, this part of the game is meant for everybody. Anybody can participate. Uh, you got to have, uh, be top 20 alliance in your server or your kingdom. And, uh, your alliance has 30 players that they can pick to bring to the battleground. So, uh, with that in mind, as long as you are in a top 20 alliance, which, you know, most servers are starting to get to the point, especially the early ones where they've got the top alliances kind of ironed out and everybody else is either just there um, kind of doing their own thing, which is fine, uh, but you're not going to participate <laughs> in battle rounds. So you need to be a part of a, a larger alliance to make um, to make this work. Um, that being said, again, we we captured all of our middles there, and now we're starting to push. And I'm starting to pull all my guys out of the uh, of the altars and the shrines, and starting to push forward. You can see all these armies starting to go forward. And I zoom out a lot just so I can get a glimpse of the battlefield on where everybody's at, where everybody's going. I you can see like. Uh, on the top left there of that shrine that um, there, it's getting scouted right now, but you can see all the lines. So you can see if it's getting attacked, um, even if you're not in there and you can kind of plan accordingly. Uh, you can see that uh, Ronnie is already kind of ahead of the game and starting to take the shrine uh, on the, on the left side, the extreme left side, and we're pushing towards their obelisk is what we're doing. So again, really, really fun. This requires a lot of organization, especially at the very beginning. It's going to get easier as we go along, but um, I've been wanting to, to cast this for a couple days, but unfortunately, I, I, with work, I was not able to, to do it, or else you'd have a really dark dark screen. But right now, again, we're just kind of pushing through here. Maybe speed it up just a smidge. All right, so, yeah. So here's where we're starting to get some of our armies to move forward from the middle of the screen. Um, pushing forward. As you can see on the top, right mini map the buildings that are blinking are getting attacked and there's the ark of osiris so i i saw it's at two minutes i'm like oh crap there's absolutely nobody from our alliance there let me grab my cavalry troop and send him over so here's the other thing you can drag and drop just like you're in an expedition it's a little bit of a pain in the butt because you got to wait for the the screen to scroll if you need to go somewhere outside of the screen you're looking at but um, it's good to have that option versus having to go forward and back and forward and back with attack and all that good stuff. So a little, a little tip for there, too. You can use your expedition movement um, to do those things, too. And here's me starting to move my main infantry troop forward, um, getting them up towards the front. At this point, again, we're starting to take stuff in their, on their side. They're starting to rally some of the things that we've already taken. So I want to get to the front and help... Um, defend what we've already got and um, attack the, the players that are already there. So here's my Archer AOE group. I've got Sun Tzu and YSG in that one, just raining down fire and arrows uh, on groups of enemies, which is going to be great. Uh, I know that the AOE commanders are going to get a little bit of a nerf here pretty soon, but um, I enjoyed having them while I, while I could at least um, to, to bring in some, some heavy firepower. And you'll see that once we get to the front too, that it just absolutely raining fire and, and arrows down on, on a big group of enemies. It's just so much fun. Um, but Ronnie's got his Herman and uh, Osman group in this shrine, which is absolutely wrecking the two governors that came in. And I was able to touch it up at the very end, but definitely did not contribute very much to that defense. And then here's my, my cavalry troop coming over. So I'm getting there just in time. There's 20 seconds left. And again, I don't think, I think with everybody just kind of focusing on all the other stuff that's going on, everybody just completely forgot about the Ark of Osiris itself. I just happened to be in the middle there and looked at the timer. So uh, got a little lucky there, just letting everybody know I'm grabbing it. Um, and again, 
watch this. So it's available right now. So I'm going to click it and escort it. And it just like it's like whenever you do a rune where um, you have to mine it. That's what happens here. So I'm mining the Ark of Osiris and then I grab it and I'm like, oh, crap, where do I take this thing? So immediately I'm just like, bring it back. <laughs> so I grab it and just start heading back. And you're going to see me type here in a little bit, where do I take this thing? I have no idea where to go with it. But you see how slow my cavalry troop, my fastest troop in the entire game, um, you see where he's at. Like, he's so he's being so slow. And I'm thinking, my thought is, okay, they've seen me capture the Ark of Osiris. They're going to come after me. They've got to be coming after me, right? And they didn't end up coming anywhere close to me with this stuff. But here's a bunch of other folks, you know, Wasabi and Cheesy Pie, um, you know, pushing some armies back. Again, just overall good coordination all around. Um, see, they're they're starting to scout me and they're starting to attack. So I thought, oh crap, I'm, gonna be, I'm about to get attacked. Everybody come and defend me. Um, and even, yeah, General Tony was like, uh, yeah, so do we defend him or what? So uh, a little bit of chaos because, again, we this is the first time we've done it. Uh, I'm still sitting, like, I, I, I'm so focused on this Ark of Osiris that I... Um, I've kind of forgotten about all my other armies. Like, okay, so here's two armies attacking my YSG group, and this was a blast. Like, I just started destroying these guys uh, pretty pretty easily, pretty handily. You start seeing the AOEs raining down, and um, yeah, I mean, this Julius Caesar group is definitely not touching me because he's got, he's got Trebs in his group, so he's going to go down quick. I'm just letting them fight over there and bring my Pelagius back to, to get the, the capture. Um, so he's still plugging away and moving south. And again, look how slow. I mean, I've been moving the whole time. Like, it's not like he stopped. So I am going to bring, now that I know where he goes, I'm going to bring him back to the war camp. So that's done. I'm going to probably go. Yeah, so I just happened to, to do it. Because, um, I, again, I didn't know at the time. But luckily, I was going to the right place anyway. So it's all good. Um, and again, my... Uh, my YSG troop there went, did no problem at all, and in fact, the other guy just started running away because he couldn't uh, he couldn't kill him fast enough. So uh, definitely held his own. I basically used that one AOE group to hold off anybody coming to try and do the arc. So it worked out really well. Um, and again, everybody else is still pushing. You can see the map starting to turn completely red at this point. Uh, I believe at this point also Ronnie is starting to push towards the front of their base. So between me taking care of the Ark and, you know, holding down the fort where the Shrine of War is at right there, um, there was no, <laughs> there was no hope for them. They, they just didn't have a shot with, uh, with what was going on. So uh, my AOE troop got pretty low because, again, no defense on that guy. That's purely offensive group. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack this guy coming in, and he's going to get immediately turned away. Like, it's funny, they kept coming in to attack shrines, and as soon as they saw us attacking them, they immediately turned back around and left. They were like, oh, my sneak attack has failed or something. Like, they thought they were just going to sneak in and, and grab it. Now, this is me seeing the, the the hospital. So, I'd already lost some Janissaries. Those were severely wounded troops. Again, you saw that there was no resources. It was just speed rush. So, again, in my thought process, I'm like, this is going to be a... A fight, so I went ahead and sped, speed rushed most of that stuff up. I think it was a little over a day. It wasn't too bad, but um, didn't really need to do that. I, I once these like I did I did drop one or two groups by the time I was done, um, and I, I really didn't even need to to redo them. Like I could have just kept what I had on the field and gone from there. So I had that uh, troop getting attacked over there. I think whoever was sitting there with their two two groups didn't. Uh, didn't see that one person running by, but uh, Ark of Osiris is captured. We got the points. As you can see, we jumped up to 12,000 points. I think that was from the Ark of Osiris. <clears throat> and this is my archer group attacking a Richard group <laughs> and um, demolishing it. So, I mean, it, it again, I think it's just a matter of commanders because my Sun Tzu was maxed out. My YSG had the first skill maxed out. Um so there was skill damage buff. There was just this this group had I had a lot of fun with this group. Um, I do need to I think at this point send that group back to get the reinforcements that I'm going to heal up in the hospital. 
Um, it's just all over. Like, it's, like, like you can see on the screen, it's just chaos. Like everything's happening all at once. That's why you need an organized battle grant, like battle plan. If I didn't have that plan from Ronnie as far as how we were going to organize it, I would have been all over the map um, and not really had any coordination. My troops would have been separated out. This guy wants to try and attack my, my maxed out uh, infantry group here, and it's not going to be pretty uh, for him, especially with him having, even, if, even though he has archers, like I'm still going to, I'm going to wreck him. Like it's not even going to be close. So I can just leave him there and just, <laughs> he'll run away. Because they, once they get to the point, like, see, he's getting wrecked. And he's got Tamoe as his second. So, again, he just runs right away. So And he doesn't have, I don't think, that much march speed until he gets to 50%. So I'm just plugging away on him the whole time. And if Chris attacks him, which I don't think he's going to, but if Chris attacked him, um, he would have been, oh, that's, that's on their team, so never mind. But, yeah, I, I couldn't keep up with the march speed. Once he hit 50%, he was, his march speed increased by, like, 25%. If he had that maxed out, so I just couldn't keep up with the guy. Um, but again, I mean, it's just controlled chaos for sure. Uh, Ten hours of speed rush here. I just did it just because, again, I didn't know any better. I thought I would need them uh, later, and I just went ahead and, and did it. And then I had another set here that I went ahead and probably did too. <laughs> there was eight, another eight hours of speed rush. So I mean, it's not bad compared to normal, um, normal speed time. So. I think there was something like 15,000 troops sitting there, and it only took about eight hours to speed up. In regular game, that's days. That is days of of speeding up and resources, tons of resources. So I really like how they did the, the hospital thing. I'm glad they didn't make it to where it was a resource sink, especially this stage of the game. There, you know, even people that have been playing since the very, very beginning that didn't sink ten, you know, ten grand into the game, they're still leveling up everything and they need those resources so pretty neat this is us just trying to coordinate a little bit um and i think everybody's starting to see that we're taking everything so everybody's starting to march towards the middle i'm bringing up my buff group i'm bringing up my infantry group i think i sent my yeah i sent my sun Tzu group back to get some more troops because he was pretty low because he was basically single tanking everything in the middle there trying to come towards the Ark of Osiris that was getting capped. So I've got Pelagius, and um, he's camped with my Ark of Osiris. I think I'm going to jump to him in a second again because I think the Ark is going to pop up pretty soon. I got the first two caps of Ark of Osiris, um, and I made that kind of my focus as I was moving my troops around because, again, my <laughs> the majority of my troops are really freaking slow. So <laughs> they just it just takes a long time to get around the map. Um, so, but again, I mean, at this point we can start to see that we're really starting to dominate, um, the, the, the match, uh, all of our initial markers are way behind where the front lines are because we just, we didn't need to coordinate anymore at this point. They only had two outposts left and we've got 10, 15 armies marching to both of those. So it was just, it was a quick and easy, <laughs> quick and easy, uh, hit and capture of those two outposts. And once we had those, they had nowhere to go. They had to be either on the map somewhere in the open field or in their base. And anybody that was on the map was getting destroyed anyway. So, uh, again, you start to see all these folks come in. I'm moving my Plagueis group back to the Ark of Osiris at this point. It's got three minutes left. I'll get there with probably a minute to spare or a minute and a half to spare. Uh, and I'll just sit there and wait for it. You can see that that outpost just got captured. Um, the one thing I wish they would stop <laughs> is whenever you beat something that you automatically retreat like i wish that once you beat something you auto camp just a quality of life thing i wish they would just it would just stop you instead of retreating you because half the time i felt like after i beat something or captured something i had to jump to it and stop and bring them back into the for the, the fray because they had already gone one minute back towards my base so you can see like everybody's retreating. They they just got destroyed or they're consolidating. Like there's two, you know, quote unquote armies, but that's a mixed troop army and a troop of catapults. <laughs> so not really much. Uh, and then these guys are starting to come towards the front, but so are we. We're starting to bring all of our troops towards the front. You can see how many armies just got destroyed, which is so much, like I said, so much fun. Because um, again, there, you're not, you're not spending resources during this, this battle here. So, uh, it's just pure, 
you know, having fun, destroying stuff, uh, you know, army versus army, your stuff versus their stuff. And, you know, unless you're battling a, a, an alliance that's got a bunch of whales where they've got a bunch of T5, it's pretty matched up for the most part. Uh, I did see some screenshots of the, um, of the initial screens where it was a 350 million alliance versus a 950 million alliance. That's kind of messed up. But ours was, like I said, ours was relatively close, and we just had more players come in. And, um, again, our, our our players, I think, were a little bit heavier hitters than than theirs. So, see, again, like I just caught my, my guys running back, and they had probably been running for a minute, <laughs> you know, so I had to go another minute back up to the front. It just kept pushing me back when I, I wish it would have just camped. All right, so there's Ronnie up front, and he's already got like 2 million kills. It's insane because he, he was able to teleport at the very beginning to the front obelisk and um, bring all of his troops to bear right there. And, of course, he's got really, really good groups as well. He's got a lot of troops. That's one thing I'm lacking right now. I think I'm pretty good in the commander department, um, and my research is good too, but I just don't have enough troops um, to, to fill up groups with the 50% bonus uh, item used. So it's just – it's it's a lot more speed speeding up my my troop production as to where I need to to go next. So that next next battlegrounds uh, is is going to be even better because I'm going to have you know a three hundred thousand troop army and um, fully maxed out uh, troop capacities on the smaller armies too. Um, I was I only needed to use a twenty five percent boost one this time just because I, I just didn't have enough troops. I only had about two hundred and twenty thousand infantry and one hundred and sixty thousand cavalry and uh, I think it was 130 or 140,000 archers. So, or maybe it was the other way around. Uh, either way, it wasn't enough. I wanted more. <laughs> I wanted more. Uh, and then again, I had my my buff troops. So I had a Joan and Cleopatra group, which I've got the Cleopatra group maxed out. And there's me capturing the Ark of Osiris again, um, and bringing it back to the outpost. Uh, I would like to have had my Pelagius group up to the front, and then had a fifth group just for the Ark of Osiris, grabbing it back and forth. That way I had all four of my armies up front, battling, having a good time, and um, my fifth group would just be a couple hundred T1 cavalry with Lancelot and Dragon Lancer, which would not do anything on the battlefield anyway. So this is me finally catching up to Legend Ronnie. He's, like I said, he's got all three of his groups here, um, basically tanking their entire alliance, and that's why he got five million kill. 5 million kills <laughs> in the battleground. Insane. I think overall we had something like 7.3 or 7.4 million kills for the whole alliance. He had like 5.1 of them because he was just sitting here and camping there, uh, uh, tanking their entire alliance at the front of their base. It was unfair. He stole all the stuff. I wanted it. <laughs> I wanted to jump in there and, um, and just be fighting side by side with the alliance and just crushing them. And we ended up doing that, but... Once we got to that point, they they had kind of given up. They're like, "This is just not going to work out for anybody," um, and they just kind of camped in their in their base and let the time run out for the last twenty minutes or so. So that and that's probably where I'm going to speed it up. Once once I go through some of that stuff there, I'm just going to speed it up and um, get towards the end so you can see the rewards, you can see the battle reports, you can see all that stuff. Um, so as far as tips and tricks, again, recapping, teleporting's huge. March speed is huge in this game. So cavalry groups are amazing. Um, infantry groups with the infantry talent tree maxed out is amazing with all the extra March speed. Um, Richard and Charles with the extra March speed for infantry buffs are huge. Uh, and then again, having a tier one cavalry unit to be your resource gatherer, your Ark of Osiris grabber, all that stuff. You can see my AOE starting to go off here a little bit. Uh, and hitting three, four, five people at a time. Really, really fun. There's another one. I mean, I that's the stuff that just kind of geeks me out a little bit. I enjoy watching the AoEs go off on a big group of enemies and just watch them get wrecked. Um, tons of fun. Tons of fun. And this is where we're just, you can see we're, we, we basically got every structure captured. We're capturing the last blue one right now, and we're pushing all of their armies back into their base. This is the front of their base. So you can see they're all getting smashed. They're just getting sent back. Uh, my Richard group sitting there tanking with Ronnie, and I've got my uh, AOE group uh, up there as well, working, uh, working that. Um, and I've also got my buff group. And I'm telling them, hey, get by me, 
with my buff group so y'all can get the Joan and the Cleopatra buffs. So, and again, here's where I'm retreating when I don't want to retreat. Like, it just doesn't, that's annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying. Uh, my buff group's about to get smashed because, again, it's all siege. Like, it was just there to provide some buffs. The siege isn't going to do anything. So, um, I just used it. I saved it for the front because I knew there was going to be a fairly big battle about halfway through. I figured there's going to be a big battle at the front as we start to to get to the front of their base. That's them trying to uh, to kind of sneak out the top. And me and Ronnie and uh, Magnus and I think, yeah, it's just the three of us. We're just attacking them the whole way. Like, it's, it's, it's just not fair. I mean, at this point, we're just wrecking them. I, if I was on their side, I'd be like, what, 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 what are you going to do? <laughs> you can't do anything. Um, there's my, yeah, there's my uh, cavalry group again. Captured another Ark of Osiris. At that point, again, the game was out of hand. We were almost at 30,000 uh, points. They only had 4754. Uh, I just stopped focusing on the Ark. Um, I knew that I had a good amount of points. I hadn't. I don't think I've checked it just yet on where, where I'm at with points. Um but as long as you get 10,000 or more individual points, you can get the max um, the max reward, which is, I think it's 10 sculptures and 10 stars. Anytime you can get legendary sculptures is a good thing. So uh, really, really important to get to 10,000 plus. And that's going to be another tip. So once we get done with the fighting here, I'll talk about that tip. Um, again, they're, they're just, they're done. <laughs> they're just getting wrecked. Now here's something. You see how the that army is retreating? Uh, back into their base. This this has got to be some kind of a glitch, or they didn't plan for it. I'm sure they'll patch it in in, in, a, in a future patch. But if you're attacking one of their armies and they're retreating back into their base, and they're still an army, they're not, they haven't been routed. You will continue to follow them into their base, and you'll see me do that once or twice too. Um, and at that point, you can't move uh, your army. Uh, this is where I'm just bringing my AOE stuff up because it's gonna be fun. <sighs> yeah, it'll be glorious. <laughs> so, um, if you're attacking an army at the front and they start retreating, your army will follow them into their base. You're not supposed to be able to get into your their base. And again, like right now, here's Ronnie and me camping. Kubi J is coming up um, to help camp up with us. Everybody's starting to get. To the front because everything else is taken like there's nothing else to do so um and then this is where we basically just camp it so very easy um to do if you're coordinated and the other team is not if both teams are coordinated and they have equal um capabilities on the battlefield then it's just a matter of being a little bit more coordinated or a little bit better armed as far as having more troops um Getting more troops on this battleground is a huge deal. If you can if you can bring more troops to the battleground than your opponent, you're going to win. Uh, especially if uh, you can capture the obelisk and get your folks up front and um, get some of these buffs. Like if you get the Ark of Osiris with more troops, it's game over. Like they just can't come back for that. And at this point, again, they see us you know at the front of their base. They're sending onesies and twosies here and there. Again, just watching how long it takes to get to the front from our base because again i haven't teleported the whole time huge mistake um i mean they're sending 200 troops <laughs> i mean they're just they're done at this point they're done um let me see if i can fast forward a little bit just so you don't have to see um just us camping at the very beginning that's me going through some battle reports so there's the the individual points let me let me stop there at the very begin at the at the top where the scores are at you you can click that and it'll bring up the score card like your um your, your point total real time so uh, if you click that you notice that you're not at 10,000 yet you can and if you're in our position where we basically got them surrounded you can start sending some of your troops to get some individual points whether that's caravans whether that's camping them at shrines or altars you get a certain amount of points per minute um, if you do that so theoretically everybody on your team could get to 10,000 points if they just camp it out. So right now, Jesse's above 10,000. I'm above 8,000. Ronnie's got a billion because he's been killing people nonstop. Um, I ended up getting second place at the end of this because of the Ark of Osiris captures and because once I realized we had won the match and there was 20 minutes left or 10 minutes left, I started just sending my troops 
to other stuff to get points. So I ended up, I think I ended up with like fifteen or seventeen thousand points. Um, and this is again, we're 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 so bored at this point. We're just camping the front of their base. I'm starting to look at battle reports. I'm starting to look at you know where am I at with the points, that kind of thing, because uh, I wanted to make sure I got the ten sculptures. That was the the objective <laughs> after we had won was to get those 10 sculptures. So everybody's starting to come to the front. And let me, again, kind of speed it up a smidge here. This is me, yeah, this is me just kind of pacing back and forth because I'm bored. Um, so again, they're starting to, <clears throat> I think they're starting to organize. Yeah, they're starting to organize a little bit of a of an attack here. Um, we've got our folks up front. It looks like they're all attacking Ronnie because he's, he's, the, he's the name in the game. Um, probably another good tip after, you know, to talk about while this battle's going on, um, get some kind of voice <laughs> communication. We did not have a discord up. We were just kind of running through, um, Ronnie's live stream, getting some direction there, which wasn't cause he was so into it and, and smashing stuff and organizing that he didn't really have a whole lot of time to coordinate verbal, uh, commands. But, um, as you can see again, I mean, they're, they're right at the front of their base. They're just getting completely smashed. You see all the sad faces rolling away. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't have my AOE group up here just yet. I've just got my cavalry group and my infantry group. Um, so I've got two armies here. And again, because there's so many armies there, it's hard to stop them from running. You see everybody running. It's like, just stop, stay, <laughs> fight. You want them to fight. It's just difficult to do. Um, but some of them are breaking through and then get immediately smashed because they just, they can't get anywhere. We're 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 right there. It's a little bit unfair, but war's unfair. So that's that's that. I mean, <laughs> there, there's no there's nothing more to talk about. I mean, at this point, they're just they're done. Um, so another tip. Uh, again, you don't need to you don't need to um, to heal up once you're at this point. I wouldn't bother uh, burning any speed ups at this point if you've got the the front camp and they don't have a defense. Uh, I would just sit tight. Here's me and Ronnie can't uh, attacking this Chow Chow group with Lohar as a back. I mean that's what I'm saying. Like they had Lohars, they had um, Tamoes and and things like that. None of our our players had that. Even our low players had war commanders, like at least epic war commanders. Um, they they didn't have uh, peacemaking commanders and and epics. We just we just didn't have any of that. We Luckily, the server that we're on, um, yeah, luckily the server that we're on, uh, it's been pretty peaceful for the most part. So um, everybody's been able to kind of level their stuff up for the most part without having to worry about spending resources on healing and, you know, speed ups and things like that. They are just able to level their commanders up, level their, um, level their troops up and uh, just keep plugging away. So uh, again, at this point, they're starting to. They're they've probably been burning through some speed ups, try to get their armies back. Um, but I mean, they're just coming one at a time. Um, this is just not the way to do it. You you need to hit all at the same time. I probably wouldn't recommend a rally unless um, unless it's all the same troop. Like you're just not going to get the same effectiveness. Um, I would focus down different armies one by one. Um, the rally would not have helped there. Rallies would not help here. So you can see, like, I'm in there. I'm inside their, their base, just kind of sitting there tanking them. Um, I could have withdrawn and saved my troops. Yeah, they. I was just letting them know. I think they ran, me, ran away from me at the front. So I'm sitting there tanking their troops. I, I ended up dying here just because I had three armies on me. Um, but, I mean, I... I just, I, at this point, again, the game was out of hand. I was just having fun tanking three groups inside their base. Everybody was losing their mind on the live stream. So I just kind of sat there, and Ronnie was getting upset because he wasn't able to get in. So um, I just happened to get in there while uh, somebody was running away from me. And, of course, everybody's starting to come at me. And now everybody starts to try and get in there um, to, uh, to, to attack them, but they can't because when you drag into that camp, um, it, it doesn't let you. It just says you cannot go into the opposing member's safe area. So this is basically California. 
for for the opposing alliance. They got their safe space. Um, just going through, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of battle reports that I go through. There's a couple one versus two, one versus ones. There's a couple one versus eights in there that I win. Um, it's just, again, I think their 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 uh, commander level, their troop level, it just wasn't up to snuff, unfortunately. And then, and then on top of that, they just didn't have enough commanders actually join the battleground. But uh, like I said, everybody had a blast doing this. Everybody was losing their minds doing stuff like that, and um, they enjoyed it. They enjoyed everything. So uh, I know I did. It was it was a, it was a great time. And again, you can see my infantry group got smashed. But again, at that point, I was like, who, who, who cares? I'm not going to speed uh, speed heal any of this stuff. And I was just tanking all the groups. It was just, it was fun. Um, and again, it, everybody's just coming to the front. So let me speed up a little bit. I want to get to the part where I have my AOE commanders doing stuff. I think they brought, let me see here. Basically, once they started, that's me going through some more of the reports. Yeah, I just couldn't, I couldn't get in there because people started getting in there too the same way I did. So it was hard to get in there. I had, they had to start bringing it back. Oh wait, I'm going, I'm going backwards. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, let me. All right, I think this is where the AOE started happening. I was able to um, get in there with my AOEs. Yeah. So I'd already, wait, let's see. Yeah, okay, so my AOE group starting to attack. You're gonna start seeing some crazy AOE. Yeah, like there's my Sun Tzu AOE. There's my, uh... <laughs> this is where I'm getting excited because I enjoyed the AOE. There's my AOEs. So I had a blast doing that. And I, I camped them there too. And I think we just destroyed them all before they were able to uh, really damage any of us. They, you'll just see all the armies start to run away because they're getting wrecked. But look, I mean, look at the damage. AOE damage, it probably did... <laughs> there's another one. Um, probably did need to be nerfed in the sense that the second, third, fourth, and fifth target needed to have reduced damage. The AOE nerf it went a little too far because the primary damage is getting destroyed too. Don't agree with that. Um, they went from one end of the spectrum to the other. I hope they kind of meet in the middle at some point and say primary is still full damage, and then for each additional one, you lower um, lower the damage at that point. Because at this point, if you if you keep it the way it is with the nerf the way it is, there, nobody's going to use AOE commanders. It's just going to be better to have single target legendary AOE command or legendary uh, nuke commanders uh, like a Minamoto Pelagius. Um, he's epic, but. Uh, you know, Chow Chow and um, you know, even her, you know, at El Cid or whatever, they've got direct damage too. So, I mean, just all those types of commanders are going to be at an advantage, in a, especially in a one on one versus one on one fight um, or one versus two fight. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think at this point it was just waiting, waiting it out, and you'll start to see me check the battle logs, check the um, score a couple times, get some of my troops back. Um, this was us just kind of inching in to the base. If you, so here's another good tip. If you right now, um, okay, so I'm up to 13 and a half thousand points. So I basically have my 10,000 points. Um, you can inch your way into their base along the inside of the wall. I guess the zone that they designated as their safe zone does not extend to the wall behind the wall where the graphic is. So if you do the drag and drop expedition style movement, you can inch your way into the base along the wall, but you can't go into the wall. So that's that's one thing. But uh, other than that, you just gotta let them kind of bring you into the <laughs> bring you into their base is really what happens. So again, more of just us camping up front. You know this being the first one, I don't think anybody wanted to take any chances. So we just kind of sat there and waited for the game to be over. But uh, eventually once it gets to be a normal thing and it's more of a, you know, we're just doing this to farm our, our points to get sculptures or whatever and have fun battling. Um, I would like to probably see us back off so they can reorganize and come out so we can have some more fights. Like I, ultimately at the end of the day, I, I enjoy the fight part of it and the rewards are great, but, um, 
the fight part of it was is is where I would oh and I ended up crashing so here's another thing if you end up crashing you can get back into the game and you yeah so crashed <laughs> so you can get back into the game and get back into the battleground you're not locked out so that's another thing and then you just join back in using the um, using the expedition button enter enter you're good you're back in the game Every, everything's the same way you don't get sent back to your city or anything like that so just want to make sure you're aware of that and let's just keep going again I mean everybody's just kind of sitting here nobody does anything it's me sending some folks over to, to different um, to different places to get some more points um, at some point I'm like you guys need to go do that yourselves because a lot of folks were not 10,000 points uh, let's keep going so five, six minutes left in the game. Let's keep on moving it along. Okay, so here's going through some battle reports. Um, there's a one versus four, one versus six, one versus three. I'm looking for the big one, which is the, I think the the next one down. Maybe one more, two more. Yeah, there's a lot of defeated armies there. One versus four. There's the big one. So <laughs> lots of defeats there. Um, I, I don't think I obviously didn't do this by myself. But, um, yeah, a lot of armies fighting. I think it was just, this was the one where it was me, Ronnie, and maybe uh, Magnus or Kuba J. And we just destroyed all those armies. They either ran or they got defeated. So, I mean, it was just, it was a, it was a blast. <laughs> I just had a great time. Um let me speed this up a little more. So I want to show you the end. I'm trying to remember. Okay, so we're at three minutes. Two minutes. All right, I think it's about to, to close. Yeah, so five seconds left. Again, game was already won 30 minutes ago. Um, and then you get victory. <laughs> so you get a victory, and you start getting your mails for your rewards. Uh, you get your victory. So let me pause it here, if I can. It's not going to let me pause it. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. All right, so overall, you got your Ark of Osiris score, Occupation score, which is the bulk of your points. So here's the next tip. Occupation is huge. You need to capture these structures as soon as possible and capture as many as possible. If you don't, you're going to open the game up for them to be where you're at. Um, provisions are nothing. Like I think there were some folks that, because they were so lower powered and they weren't up to the front, they just started grabbing provisions and bringing them back. Um, and again, with the Ark of Osiris, the Alliance gets a good chunk of points, but you don't get very many points. It's like a hundred or 300 points. You don't get very much. So that's more of an Alliance activity that you just kind of take it for the, the team to, to help you get the buffs and the, the points and things like that. Um, but I think the Alliance gets like 3000 points. So that's a pretty big deal when you capture the Ark of Osiris, uh, for the Alliance. So personal points wise, Occupation is a big deal. Kills is a huge deal, which you're about to see. Um, but overall, I mean, it, this is pretty cut and dry, easy win. So, but again, priorities are obelisk, shrines, altars, Ark, Ark of Osiris, and then having your, your armies up front. Total kills, 7.3 million. Like I said, Ronnie had 5.1 million of those, so he he obviously had the bulk of that. Uh, everybody else was just kind of waiting in the wings to to get the scraps from what he was pushing away from him <laughs> as he was wading through the masses. Um, I'm I'm kind of oh, okay, so that's a good point. Units healed. I thought that meant um, while you're battling, so your Richards, your Pelagius, your Chow Chow, your Fredericks, healing. No, that is the amount of troops that you healed at the hospital uh, in the game. So that's a huge deal. 
Uh, as you can see, again, teleports. We had 14 teleports, three Ark of Osiris captures. I had two of those. Um, and, and again, I mean, that was probably about nine. That is 9,000 points that went towards our alliance scores. That was, that was a big deal, especially at the beginning of the game that kind of separated us out, gave us the buffs. The buffs are huge. It's 100% attack. Uh, it's like having that uh, uh, Boudicca or Yulji attack bonus all the time. And it's for all damage. Like, it's not just troop attack. It's all damage. So pretty neat. Um, let me go ahead and get it started back again because I want to get to the rewards and how you get them. Um, for those of for those that participate in the Ark of Osiris, yeah, 78,000 points for Ronnie. It's crazy. Um, and then I got good occupation and good Ark of Osiris score. Uh, kills were okay. <clears throat> and uh, kill score was okay, not great. I think you want to get gold across the board. So if you're gold, um, you are first, second, and third. So gold, silver, bronze, I think is how it works. Um, occupation and Ark of Osiris, I was the top. And then kills, obviously, I was not the top because Ronnie was the top. Um, but so if you're a participant, you get um, the main rewards, which was right there. I want to go back to it so you can see it. All right, so that's the main rewards. So you get 10 legendary sculptures, 500,000 experience, 50 hours of training speed up, which is awesome, uh, 2,000 gems, another basic army expansion, which I think is 25%, and you get a 20,000 army reserves card, which is awesome. You need that to crank up your troop output uh, when you're training them up. But um, it gives you some details at the top as far as the score, um, you know, how your scores went, you know, win percentage, which I'm assuming that's battle percentage, win percentage. Uh, that might be incorporating the one where I lost it um, at the front when I was inside their base. Uh, units healed, 78,000. So that was me at the hospital healing those. That was probably not necessary. Um, 650,000 kills, not too bad. Uh, and I, I had uh, 123 severely 123,000 severely wounded troops. So I could have healed another 50,000 if I needed it, but I didn't need it, so I didn't do it. But rewards are fantastic. Um, really liked how you get the rewards right away, um, and it's right to your mailbox. You don't have to worry about a glitch or anything like that. And uh, again, I mean, definitely worth it. Whether I won or lost, the rewards are pretty good. I think you just cut this in half is what you get. I think you just get a smaller reserves, half the sculptures, half the gems, half everything else. And if you lose, you still get some stuff. So worth the hour of activity one way or another, but certainly winning is obviously better. <laughs> uh, so grab those. And then here is the uh, Alliance Award. So if you're a winner, um, you get this reward if you're in the Alliance. So if you even if you didn't participate, you get it. So you get 10 Dazzling Starlight Sculptures, an attack buff, a couple teleports, 500 gems, um, I think that's 100,000 um, alliance credits, which is good, uh, and then some resources. So pretty pretty neat. Everybody in the alliance get the, got this. My farm account got it. Um, and then again, if you didn't if you didn't participate, um, you still get it. Um, so here's a recap of the entire battle. On the left side is the actual um, thing you're looking at. So Ark of Osiris score. Uh, Alliance, 10,500. That's what we got. Um, personally, I got 650 for my individual points. And I was the top producer for Ark of Osiris, so that's what I got. Uh, occupation score, same thing. Um, 56,000 overall for our entire Alliance. That's what helped us win so well. I got 5,342. So I got 10, basically 10% 10 of the points um, in individual score. Uh, for myself personally, which get, got me to the 10,000 that I needed to get the, the top tier of the rewards. Provision score, uh, free P16 got the most provisions for the whole alliance, so he's the number one rank there. Of course, like I said, total kills, <laughs> 7.3 million for the alliance, 5.1 million for Ronnie. It's, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> we, what are you going to do when he's got like 350,000 troops in one army? Um, the alliance just probably saw that and turned right back around. That's what I would do. Um, severely wounded units 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, Ronnie had uh, made 323,000 severely wounded units. Uh, units healed 641,000. Kuba J healed the most 
uh, at 157,000. So that's a lot of speed heal uh, that he did. Got 14 teleports, three Ark of Osiris captures, and 18 occupations, which is how many buildings are on the map. So pretty neat. Um, and again, just to summarize, so what's important? What's what's the takeaway? Capture the obelisk as soon as possible. Don't send all of your armies out at the beginning and teleport to that obelisk for the first five that you get. If you're not going to be part of those first five, then you want to send your armies out to a different part of the map to capture. And again, once you get to the point where you have an, another set of teleports, camp all of your armies in a shrine, an altar, or an obelisk. Then teleport as quickly as possible. That's a huge deal. Um, and again, the next priority is just capturing as many bases as you can up to that middle and then starting to push the middle. Once you do that, you're going to be in a really good spot because if, if your other if the your opponent is not doing that, you're going to be at a significant disadvantage. And then also have uh, somebody designated as the Ark of Osiris grabber and runner. Um, you want them to be ready to grab that as soon as it's available um, because if you get that, you get a massive buff for your damage, and that's huge. So that's the end of the <laughs> that's the end of the um, the video. So um, great job to my alliance; they did a fantastic job. Everybody did their jobs well. Uh, I personally enjoyed the fighting, and of course, the rewards were fantastic. Um, that's going to be it. If you have any questions or comments, um, please leave them below. Again, I really enjoy doing these videos. I'm going to do a bunch of them as I uh, get the time, and I'm going to try and put a couple more out today so that y'all can have some stuff to look at. But uh, feel free to, you know, if you're at this point, you did, you already probably did speed up because I wouldn't want you to watch a 60-minute movie or a 60-minute video from start to finish. I mean, I'd love that if you did, but um, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I wouldn't sit there for an hour and watch this. Um, but uh, overall, blast. I hope you enjoyed the video footage. There was some good AOE footage in there. Hopefully the tips and tricks are helpful. Um, we're still going to learn more and more about this stuff. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Throw me a like, throw me a subscribe. Uh, hope you're having a good one and uh, cheers. I'll be seeing you on the next video. Take care.